Look at this, starting a vlog at the beach. What a beautiful place to start this vlog. We've got a little bit of a different format today. Um, we are going to be checking out Musselburgh Athletic, which is why I'm in Musselburgh, but we are also going to be watching them play. And they're not playing at home, they're playing away. So first of all, we're going to check out the home of Musselburgh, find out a little bit more about them, then travel west towards Linlithgow, where they'll be playing the mighty Linlithgow Rose in an East of Scotland football match, one tier below the Lowland League. So two teams, two big, well-supported, prestigious clubs who have both won numerous big competitions, which we'll get into shortly. Um, yeah, two huge clubs who will be looking to rise through the ranks of Scottish football and reach the promised land of the Lowland League and then of course the SPFL. After an amazing week or week and a bit on the channel where I visited Carlisle and Rangers and St Johnston and Newcastle, it is lovely just to get back to doing some non-league stuff again. Can't wait to show you around such a beautiful area. I'm going to show you this first then uh, next time I'll see you should probably be at the stadium. And look at this, what a lovely ground. I absolutely love these stadiums. Yes, in recent days and recent weeks, I've been to Newcastle and Rangers and St. Johnston, but it's here where I feel most at home, where I can come on the center circle and tell you guys facts about teams that you've probably never even heard of before. Right, and I'm just gonna go and check out this lovely little uh, looking mural on the side here, Musselburgh Athletic. Seems like a lovely ground and look, a grass pitch as well. You cannot beat one of those. But just look at this, Musselburgh Athletic here, east of Edinburgh and by the coast. So yeah, I'm in Olive Bank Stadium right now in the Fisher O part of town. And uh, just look at their badge a second. I'm gonna put their badge on screen. It does signify, of course, the year that they were formed in, which you can see right now, but also, of course, the uh, the seafaring nature of the town. There are a few anchors on there and I guess drops of water. I do think that part in the middle is actually the uh, the crest of the town itself. But yeah, I love the fact that, um, you know, it's so linked with, with the community and with the area that it is, you know, the anchors. We are so close to the sea as we saw earlier, but yeah, what a ground. I hope you enjoy a few more of these shots. Musselburgh Athletic currently play in the East of Scotland Premier Division. That is one division below the Lowland League, which again, if you win the Lowland League, you can uh, potentially get up into the SPFL. So they're a few good years away from potential SPFL football and having big, well-established teams come and play here week in, week out. They've even won the Junior Cup in the past, which is the most prestigious non-league cup here in Scotland. Uh, this level of football was called junior football for a while, even though it wasn't like the age of the players that made it junior. It was just below the actual professional leagues. It was more of like a non-league but completely separate it's all now one pyramid so it's not a junior club anymore but they have won the junior cup which is basically the scottish cup for junior teams for non-league teams so a very big thing for them to win that was back in 1923 they've also come runners up twice in a lot more modern times in 2011 and 2015 and if like me you're an absolute football nut and you just love to come to places like this like musselburgh and just check out the grounds and stuff um, and come and watch football at these places and because look these clubs they need fans and um also really appreciate how open and how nice they are to me when I come to these places of course you never get this with a big team so I absolutely love these teams and if you love teams like this and if you just love football in general then please download Fanbase it is the first two links in the description box below to Apple and Android apps Fanbase is an app if you've not heard me talk about it before um, where you can buy tickets for Scottish football a lot of their clubs that they have are East of Scotland League clubs they have Lowland League clubs they have League 2 clubs they've got a lot of clubs on there of huge huge stature that you can go and watch play all you got to do is download the app and they make it so easy 
that it doesn't just help you to go to games it also really helps the clubs as well um, getting people through the door like this team here would have found it really really hard to digitalize their stadium post covid and all that trying to get all their numbers in that they need and stuff so yeah it really isn't just helping uh helping you as a fan get to grounds it's also really supporting the clubs as well i'll also link their um social media below as well so you can give them a follow but yeah go on to fan base buy some tickets and support clubs like this because look you cannot beat these places for football In a very fortuitous turn of events, there are some kids playing in their back garden over there and they've just kicked a football over. There we go. Oh. 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 <laughs> Muscle bro, it's been fantastic. I've absolutely loved it. What a lovely ground. Olive Bank Stadium, absolutely lovely little ground, especially on a nice sunny day like this. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the new um, the new format of seeing the away teams ground first before actually going to watch them play. So yeah, I'll see you down at uh, Lynn Lithgow Stadium in three, two. Lynn Lithgow, take an absolute bow. What an amazing little town that I've just driven through. Seems absolutely unbelievable. Seems so nice. But here we are now at Preston Field, the home of Lynn Lithgow Rose Football Club. And look at this. I fancy seeing this here. Fan base, remember, linked in the description box below, helping Lynn Lithgow Rose go digital. Wow! This place looks so nice. Here, check it out. Look, here we go. I've touched the goalpost. You know how much I love that. But look at that, what a ground. Hi there, I'm uh, Carol Clickhorn. I'm the president of Musselburgh Athletic Football Club. Yep. Uh, have been for just over three years. Yep. Um, really enjoying it. It's a fair bit of work. I can imagine, yeah. most uh, presidents of clubs at this level will tell you. I can imagine, especially with the uh, opening of the leagues and stuff, things must be quite hectic. Yeah. I have been hectic over the last couple of years. Could you just explain who Musselburgh are, they're, they're kind of standing in the game in the East of Scotland League and sort of where you aspire to be in the next couple of years? OK, Musselburgh Athletic were formed in 1934 and we're a junior uh, team, a junior uh, league which weren't in the tiers of under the Scottish Football Association. And now we've moved into the auspices of the East of Scotland League. We've become a senior team at Tier 6, the Scottish Football. We hope to push on from that in years to come. Uh, we were awarded our SFA licence six weeks ago and we're members of the SFA now as well, so we're playing the Scottish Cup. And we hope to be competitive this season and uh, in future seasons uh, be really competitive. It takes a while to, to build a team and a management team and uh, we've spent a lot of time and work at um, Olive Bank yep. doing the business there. And uh, we're moving with the modern technology now, with the ticketless uh, systems through fan base and um, various other things to drag us into the yeah. 21st century. Yeah, of course. It sounds good and it sounds like um, you want to progress as a club and you mentioned the digital ticketing and stuff. And that must be quite hard for a club to set up on their own um, without the assistance of someone like fan base. But um, who do you expect to go up from? Of, of course, you're in the east of Scotland League, but there's some strong teams in the west and obviously there's a south of Scotland League and I believe you're all the same level. Which teams out of those three leagues do you expect to see up in the uh, SPFL in the next five or ten years? Yes. Well, first of all, we are indebted to uh, fan base for the support and the guidance that they've given us and, and continue to give us, and, and that's very helpful. Um, tier 6 of Scottish football uh, is very competitive. There is undoubtedly teams at Tier 5, the Lowland League and the Highland League, uh, that are not as good as what we are in Tier 6. But Trinent and Pennycook are doing exceptionally well this season. 100% record so far, I believe. It's going to be a great tussle between those two clubs to see who uh, wins the league uh, and, and who probably comes second.
So firstly, thank you so much for um, just your time today and what a lovely day for a game of football. Absolutely. Could you just explain who you are and what you do here at Lynn Lithgow yeah. Rose? So I'm John Mahoney and I'm the president of the football club uh, and that's been my privilege since 2018. How has it been? Obviously you've been here since 2018 but yeah, the last two hard. years have been pretty yeah, crazy. Been How's hard. that been? So um, I, I think every club has really struggled through the course of the, the pandemic, especially at this level. Um, everything's been different for the players, the, the ability to change, to not change, the ability to train properly. Mm -hmm. um, There's points where you couldn't have showers after the game and still stuff. Still can't have showers still after can't. the game, so, uh, which is a really thorny one. Um, we thought that with the, uh, what do you call it, zero minus one that we're at just yeah, now, yeah. the social distancing would go, but we're still two metres apart. Well, look, you can fly room. to anywhere in the world, well, pretty much anywhere, but yeah. you can't have a shower after a game. Um, it's, been a, it's, it's been a bone of contention that we can that we have to be two metres apart in here, but we can go into the um, social club next door and be one metre apart, yeah. and that's been the case for quite some time, so that doesn't really make a whole pile of sense to us, but it is what it is, and um, yeah, so it's been... It's been really challenging, really challenging for the players, for the management team, yep. for everybody um, involved with the club. And speaking of the management team, I believe uh, the manager has just left the club recently. What? How has the season started for you as a club? So it's been a it's been a difficult start to the season. Um, we created good opportunities to win games, and we've not quite seen them out. So we've only lost one game in our opening seven, but we've won four. And on the way in of the social club, there was a board, and I've actually I saw the trophy cabinet as well, which may or may not have been in the montage by now. But if not, it is coming up. But we'll put it on screen just now. Some of the trophies, but there is a board which also shows what this club have won. They have won four junior cups. They've won three East of East Super Leagues as well, as well as many, many more honours. These are a very well decorated non-league club here in Scotland. And um, yeah, had the uh, had the pyramid system been open a lot longer than what it is now then uh, yeah maybe this club would be a league club by now con considering what they've won and what a um, successful side they are um, yeah they're obviously such a huge club um, based on those trophies and stuff so who knows where they'd be now but yeah like I've already mentioned in this video junior football is basically non-league football or was non-league football which was disconnected from the actual leagues for quite a long time whereas now these clubs can get into the leagues I've spoken about it a lot before so I don't want to bore you with it but basically this club here were the first ever team as a junior team to get to the Scottish Cup last 16 they beat Forfar in the last 32 and then played Ross County of the Premiership in the last 16 and lost four two and were apparently played really really well and were very unlucky not to have got more out of the game and could have got to the quarter finals this club here almost beat premiership ross county in the last 16 to get to the quarter finals of the scottish cup what a story that would have been what a story it is anyway that this junior club is the first to get to the last 16 but yeah what a cool club and um yeah cannot wait for this game tonight Right, keeper. Look at this, this is proper football. You can't get that close to the action and say good luck to the keeper in the Prem or in the Champions League. But you can here at Linlithgow against Musselburgh. We're about to kick off. And what I love about these grounds is that you can just come anywhere around them. I might go up in that stand later. Look at the sun shining on it. You won't be able to see up there just now because of the sun, but we have kicked off. And look at this, what a good turnout for a midweek game. It's a lovely night, but yeah, look at that. There's got to be at least a few hundred people here. Absolutely love to see fans back at football, no matter what the level. Oh, is a chance already? Oh. What a chance, and it's not every day that you get to return the ball back to the keeper again. Something you don't get in the Prem. Oh, they're in. Oh, save. The keepers have been the stars of the show so far. Oh, Ooh. what a save again. These keepers are unbelievable. And look, here we go in the corner. Oh.
I'm here with Daniel now, huge football fan. You're in your Dundee United kit, but you're a Hibs fan as well. How many stadiums have you been to? Uh, How many is it? 36. 36 out of the 42 SPFL clubs. So you've almost been to as many as me. And which ones were your? Which one did you say was your favourite again? Inverness. Inverness, amazing. Well, look, we're here today watching some non-league football. Are you enjoying it so far? Yeah. Nice, mate. Enjoy the game. Right, we've just had half time, the second half has begun as you can see. Still 0-0, but let's hope some goals in the second half. Oh, it's a pen! It's a pen! You can hear the ref telling the players to stay behind the line, but we've had some drama already in the second half. It hasn't taken long. And it is 1-0 to Musselburgh. The team that we saw earlier, and Lynn Lifko, a huge club, are struggling a little bit at the start of the season, and their struggles continue. Oh! They just hit the post. Don't know if I caught it on time. Maybe I did, but Lynn Lifko, come close once again. So let's try the stand, shall we, for a while? We'll go and see what the stand's like. Well, you get some view of the pitch from up here. Oh, Billy! Oh, the line up, the line up. Lino's given it, has he? Are we going to have another pen? I couldn't actually see because I was filming on here, but as you can see, he's currently talking to the linesman and he's given a pen. Second penalty of the day for Musselburgh. The Lynn Lifko lads in Appy and they're talking to this linesman. Not that he can do anything. 2-0, same side. Oh. oh, it's crept in. Game on. Oh! Oh, unlucky, Brad. What a game this is turning out to be. Oh. Agro, you love it, don't you? It was pretty good up in the old raised stand. You get a fantastic view, but I'm back at pitch level now. Yeah, just some of the, the crazy touches and the shots and the both teams have hit the woodwork multiple times. There's been two penalties. They've got the sub wrong who's come on. We've had to pass the ball back. We've stroked a dog. There's been aggro. This is what non-league football is all about. <laughs> Two all. Wow. Jesus. Wasn't expecting that. My name's Paul. Uh, yeah. From uh, Ground Tastic Magazine. Yeah. Which is a football grounds magazine. We've been going for about all right, more than 26, 27 years now. Amazing. So. I'll include your um, your Twitter link in the description box so people can check you out. But yeah. we've just seen Lynn Lifko equalise. It's been quite the game today. It's two all. Yeah, yeah. Feisty. Yeah. Have you enjoyed it? I mean, it sort of uh, it does the ground justice, doesn't it? It's yeah. A fantastic ground. Yeah. Proper old school Scottish yeah. ex junior ground. Brilliant game. Um, yeah, we're going two nil down. Um, Rose have come back. It's been yeah. really feisty. It's been really. Blood and thunder stuff. It's what you come to non-league football and for, they, isn't it? You know, they've equalised now with what, well, a minute to go. And who knows, they might get another one. Hopefully. Well, that was some game, one of the best games I've seen on my channel for a long time. I know I say that all the time, but the last four games have been 2-all, 4-2, 4-2 and 2-1. We've had some unreal games. If you're uh, looking for a bet to put on, then do over 2.5 goals and both teams to score on whatever games I go to, because at the moment we are guaranteed drama. Yeah, for non-league football, we've had me being a ball boy, we've had dogs, we've had drama, we've had penalties, we've had a scrap on the pitch, we've had people calling the ref or... <laughs> 
We've had everything. We've had everything you could ever want from a non-league football match. If you want to come and sample amazing non-league football like this, then all you've got to do is download Fanbase and buy tickets, because I think uh, tickets for today were only like seven quid. And um, yeah, that is some serious value for money when the games are this good. Please do remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and definitely come and check out these two clubs. They are tremendous. I'll leave some videos on screen. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Thank you so much. What a day I've had. Cheers, and see you later.